here's a really cool critter that lives in the southern United States called the Texas horned toad. Now it's got spikes on its head and spikes on its tail and spikes all over its body, uh, probably to protect itself. But if that's not enough, when a predator gets close, first it flattens itself against the ground, trying to look like the dirt. And if the predator keeps creeping closer, then it blows itself up so it looks bigger and more threatening. And if that doesn't work, it runs in little bursts and stops and runs and stops. But its last dispense is the most amazing. If the coyote or the snake continues to get closer, it literally shoots blood out of its eyeballs at the approaching predator. Now, if the blood tastes nasty. A mouthful of that probably will deter the predator and it can accurately aim its blood from its eyeball to hit that snake or coyote up to five feet away and repeatedly shoot streams out of its eye. Now think if you or I tried that. Oh, I'm gonna stick a pin in my eye so I can shoot blood at someone who's attacking me. At the very least, you'd go blind. At, at the very best, you would have scar tissue on your eye and you could only do it once. This toad does it repeatedly. Now how does that develop a little small change at a time over millions of years? The first toad to shoot blood out of its eye is going to go blind. It's going to go extinct. You see all of the abilities and the programming changes on the DNA in order to do this amazing feat had to be there from the very beginning or nothing would have worked. You know, things like this are there so we will know God exists. God made these kind of creatures to show his magnificent creativity and power so we can have the assurance that Jesus, who is the creator, is real. So keep these in mind as we go and study creation and see the amazing creatures God has made. Thank you.